What's up, YouTube? Optho Info, back with another leaky video. This one's been inspired by Dr. Cohen. You can check him out on YouTube. He's also got a, a website called retinauniversity.com. The descriptions are in the link below. This week's question is, how much magnification do you get with your 20 doctor lens? Let me put it this way. I'll give you five seconds to answer. Yes or no? Does your 20 doctor lens provide magnification when you're doing your DFE, when you're doing indirect ophthalmoscopy? Does it provide magnification, the 20? No, it doesn't. It minifies. It minifies by a factor of five. Did you know that? Now you may think, oh, Mark, I know when I'm doing my DFE, I'm getting a magnified image of the retina, and that's true. But that's because when the, uh, the image that's exiting the eye has already been magnified by a factor of 15. So if you do, your, if you do direct ophthalmoscopy, it'll be 15 times larger than if you ripped it out of the back of the eye and looked at it 25 centimeters away. Okay, so it comes out 15x magnified by a factor of 15 and then you hit you it comes through your 20 and that minifies it by a factor of 5 15 divided by 5 gives you a total magnification or a net magnification of 3 so it minifies by a factor of 5 let's unpack that a little bit so the key to understanding this is understanding two things number one you need to know the formula for the magnification of a simple lens the magnification equals the power in Doppler divided by 4 and you know when that formula applies this only applies when you're, the optic that's being viewed is being viewed at a focal distance away from the lens, okay? And, you know, the take home from this video is really that if the object that's being viewed is actually viewed at an infinite distance away, this formula, instead of being magnification, is minification, okay? So let's look at the patient's eye and the light that that's coming off the retina as to illustrate um, those points, okay? So here's our patient's eye. We can consider the lens and the cornea to be a combined simple lens of 60 diopters. Um, so I'll put a 60 in here. And we can, uh, if the patient's emetropic, then we know that this lens is held at a focal distance away from the object, which in this case is some lesion on the retina. So if it's one over 60 meters away from the retina, uh, as it would be in an emetropic patient, then we can apply this formula as magnification. And so we would get um, 60 diopters divided by 4 gives you 15x magnification. Okay. And I can draw the light rays for you too, if you'd like. Um, we've got light that's illuminating, going into the eye, illuminating the entire retina. We've got light bouncing off, let's say, this one point here on this lesion, and it's diverging away as it was reflected, going through the optics of the eye. Of course, it's diverging until it hits the uh, converging lens system, and then it is converged to exit in parallel. You can view this with your direct ophthalmoscope and you get 15, 15x magnification uh, of the retina. But now, okay, now we're using our 20 to catch these rays, okay? The rays are no longer div divergent like they were initially. Now they're in parallel. Quick word on parallel light rays. I want to show you an illustration to demonstrate why objects at an infinite distance away are thought of as emitting parallel light rays. Okay, first we're going to look at this candlelight. Um, it's emitting light 360 degrees, of course, um, but we want to pay, pay specific attention to these two light rays that are actually entering into the eye to form the image on the retina. And that's definitely not a parallel angle there. It's like 30 or 35 degrees between these two light rays. Now, if we push the object further away, we'll notice that these light rays still exist, but they're no longer entering into the eye. So instead, we want to look at just the light rays that are entering the eye to form the image, and you'll notice that they're now much tighter, much closer together, much closer to parallel. And so this continues to get tighter as we push the object further and further away. You can see these two light rays are essentially parallel here. And so back to our case, although the object in this situation, which is a lesion on the retina, it's not an infinite distance away, it's very close. Um, the divergent light rays immediately get converged so that the uh, rays that exit the emetropic eye are exiting in parallel. So we're going to have to apply the minification formula. Now they're in parallel. So this uh, formula no longer applies as a magnification, but instead as a minification, okay? So I can draw it here, here's our 20. And we can apply this now minification formula, and that would be 20 diopters 
over 4 gives us 5x minification. And now to find our total um, magnification, we can do the 15 mag divided by the 5 minification to get a net of 3 x magnification so that's it in summary i want you to know a couple things number one this magnification formula only applies for objects that are being viewed at a focal distance away from the lens um, and number two this formula is regarded as a minification formula for objects that are being viewed through a lens at an infinite distance away okay um you know i don't think it's that difficult to wrap your head around this concept it's it, i mean if you just intuitively think about simple lenses they are mostly minifying things if you look at my face here it's minified the back seats minified those bushes across the street are minified i'm looking at if i look through this direction i see a minified garage it only magnifies things at all if you, if you, you have to hold the object within a couple of focal distances away um and if you want to get the maximum uh 5x mag it has to be exactly one focal distance away um and uh, conversely to get the maximum uh minification then the object has to be at a, a theoretical infinite distance away so uh yeah that's it you can't find this kind of stuff in your bcsc or even online you know give me a subscribe if you like this type of uh unique content um but uh yeah i, I, mean, I challenge you to go on google and see what the um is try to find the formula for uh how much a simple lens minifies an object that's being viewed at infinity if you can do that, put it in the description, put it in a comment. I don't know, I'll, I'll give you some money or something. All right, catch you next week. Peace.